Hello, my name is Moonkat and welcome back to another video on the St. Patrick's Day event. In this video I will go over how you can get up to one full Druid Temple in addition to the Celtic Farmstead for free. I did already go over this in my previous video on strategies, uh, but it was buried deep inside a 40 minute video, so I am sure a lot of you missed it. I wouldn't blame you, so I wanted to make this dedicated video as well to inform some more of you that this is a possibility and this is something that you could go for if you wanted to. Now, you might have caught that I said up to one full Druid Temple in the beginning. This is not guaranteed to work. You might not get all the 10 selection kits you need, but you do have a decent chance. Based on my simulations, you will have around a 60 to 70% chance of getting the 10 Druid Temple kits you need for free. And even if you don't get all the 10 for free, uh, you will most likely be able to get at least 8 or 9. Uh, and you do have the Antique Stealer, the uh, item has already been added there. So you will have the possibility to get it there, or perhaps you have it from last year as well, some spare kits. Uh, so even if you don't get all 10, you will probably get it relatively soon from some other sources like the Antique Stealer. So how does this work? Well, it boils down to this. After each town you complete, you are able to open boxes, and behind one of these boxes, you will get one Druid Temple selection kit. And that is actually guaranteed. That is a change they made from beta to the live server. They announced it here on the beta forum, but now one chest will always contain a selection kit for the Druid Temple. That means that after every town, you will get the Druid Temple kit as an option, which means that if you do enough towns, and if you open enough boxes after these towns, you will be able to get 10 Druid Temple kits. So, basically my strategy is, for getting it for free, uh, is to do 10 or more towns and buy enough boxes after every of those towns until you get enough uh, selection kits for the Druid Temple. In more detail, this depends on if you have the event surprise box or not. If you do have the event surprise box, I recommend following my 10 town speedrun strategy. Uh, now, a quick recap on that, I did go over it in my previous video, uh, but basically you complete 10 towns, you do so using my recommended manager levels for the three different towns, you do it by completing 33, 32, and 32 tasks in the three towns. That means skipping all of these uh, tasks here. Uh, and in order to do that, you can follow these upgrade orders that I made. So here you simply start on the left side here. First, you start upgrading these buildings to these levels. And then you move on to festival and shipyard to level 10, flowers to level 5, and so on. Uh, I, again, I'll go over that in my previous video. Uh, but this is very simple to do and very easy to follow. I just want to give a quick recap in case you haven't seen that video. Uh, and then, uh, as I said, you do 10 towns using these strategies here. Uh, doing so uh, will give you uh, 10 uh, farmstead levels. You will get these from grand prices, so 5 from grand prices. Uh, you will get a 1 by buying 6 out of 6 boxes once. I'll go over that a little bit more in a minute. You will get one from the selection kit you have, and you will get the remaining from the milestone levels. So that is how you get the farmstead fully leveled. Now let's go over the druid temple. So it is as simple as I said, you are doing 10 towns, which means you have to buy boxes after every town until you get the druid temple. In this example here, I got it after the first time, and this will probably happen to you once or twice. Sometimes you have to spend more pots at, uh, to get it, you have to open more boxes. Uh, now, in terms of costs, uh, you have 4,700 pots to spend after towns to open boxes. So these spread across the 10 towns. Uh, but you, this does not include whatever you get from the newsletter and incidents. So if we include both of these, this will probably be closer to 6,000 pots. That means that after the towns, you have up to 6,000 pots to spend. Now, divide that by the 10 towns you do, that is 600 pots on average. That means that you can open over four, so four and a half boxes on average after each town. And that gives you a very decent chance of getting enough Druid Temple kits. 
So here I got it after the first one. You might got, get it after buying four boxes, which will cost you 400 pot. You might get it after buying five boxes, which will cost you 900 total. Uh, or you might get it after six boxes, which will cost you 1900 pot. Uh, that said though, you will have to buy six out of six boxes once. So you do actually have some room to play with. So even if you do have to buy six out of six boxes once, that is not a problem. You will still have spare pots. So if you go back here, uh, if we consider those uh, are roughly 6,000 pots, you will have to buy six out of six boxes once, which means you have roughly 4,000 pots over the remaining nine towns. And that is around 450 pots per town. And that uh, gives you, as I said, a decent chance of getting enough kits uh, or having enough pots to get uh, 10 druid temple kits to buy it after every town. But as I said, it is not guaranteed. If you are unlucky and have to buy six out of six boxes multiple times, then you might not have enough pots. If you have to buy it six out of six boxes twice, that is probably not an issue. That is probably all right. But if you have to do it three or more times, then you might not have enough pots to get 10 uh, selection kits. And if that happens, you have two choices. You can either spend the diamonds to get additional pots, uh, or you can stop spending, uh, use your remaining pots uh, for uh, what you need for the town, and then you know, just accept that you will not get the full 10 uh, kits you need. You might get eight or nine, perhaps even seven instead. But that is not a problem, as I said, the kit has been added to the antique dealer, so you will eventually be able to get enough kits for a fully leveled druid temple. Now, I did mention that, uh, there, that the strategy is slightly different if you do not have the surprise box. So if you don't have it, I would recommend doing the 12 town strategy I go over, uh, which is uh, very similar, but instead of getting uh, five uh, upgrade kits for the farmstead, you get six from the uh, grand prices. Uh, and you, uh, also here you get one uh, from buying six out of six boxes once. Uh, so that is the same, uh, but the kit you uh, get here from the selection kit, you need to get from grand prizes instead. And for that, you need to do the 12 town strategy. And this means that you will have uh, two towns where you do not need to pick up the Druid Temple. You only need to pick up the Druid Temple after 10 of the 12 towns. And now based on my testing, the optimal strategy to, when going for this is that the first time you have to open four boxes and you don't get the Druid Temple kit, you move on to the next town. So instead of opening the fifth and possibly sixth uh, box, if you don't get the Druid Temple after the first four boxes, you move on to the next town. And you can do that up to two times because again, as I mentioned, you only have to get the Druid Temple kit after 10 of the 12 towns. Uh, and that way uh, you will still have a decent chance, but it is uh, slightly lower than the uh, if you ha do have the surprise box. Now with this strategy, you will have uh, around 3.3 thousand uh, pots to spend after town, uh, and you will also have whatever you get from newsletter and incident, so probably something like four and a half, five thousand pots to spend. So with both of these strategies, what I recommend is that you uh, track whatever you have spent on pots of, on boxes after towns, and also whatever you get from a newsletter and incidents. So keep track of that in a spreadsheet or a notepad or even a piece of paper if you want. And that way you will know how you're doing and you can compare that to how much you can spend. And then you have to you know, consider it, how much you want to spend going forward. And that way you don't you don't end up overspending and miss out on the Celtic farmstead. So uh, hopefully this gave you a better idea of how you can do this. Uh, as I said, I have already gone over this in my previous video, but I did want to make a dedicated video on it uh, so that you can get, uh, you know, in case you missed that and you, you can get a better idea of it. So I think I will leave it there. Uh, hopefully you found this interesting. But before I end, I would like to thank my Patreons for supporting my content and my new website where this page is hosted. I would like to thank Homestar, Fort Prefect, Lorden, Merrick B, Arthur, Hugo Kant von Count, Jan Fredriksen, Jutta Generous, Filda, Rush, 
Susan Weiss, Megarock, Rocco, Henrik Derek Klerberg, and Mattia. Thank you all very much for your support. Thanks for watching, take care, and I will see you in the future.